tied to our trust. Real quick, I was um, looking at Nahum and his mother books, the Old Testament, and the word Nineveh kept popping up over and over and over. Now, man, that sounds. It sounds like a modern day city today. And that modern day city today would be Geneva. Nineveh. You just change the N to a G and it'd be Geneva or Geneva. I thought that was kind of interesting because that's a place where, say, the UN Council would meet and all the nations would meet together in Geneva. <clears throat> and seems like an appropriate, appropriate place for, say, the leader of the Assyrian Empire to be would be in the area of Geneva, which happens to be in Europe, um, pretty close to German, Germany. If the German states around Germany are of similar people or come from the same line of people, it would make sense that Geneva, places like Berlin, Geneva, would be uh, the bigger cities around Geneva, that's what I mean, would be a place to meet, to discuss foreign trade, foreign relations. It was just neat. Uh, not such a big deal. But, uh, yeah, we bless you and keep you. And pray for Yahweh's people to start coming together for Sukkot and different things. Even new moons, possibly. And pray for me for uh, neurological episodes and <laughs> life issues. But again, Yahweh bless you and keep you. And think about the word Geneva and Nineveh. If you just pronounce them Geneva, it's just one letter different. Geneva, Geneva, Nineveh, Geneva. Geneva, Nineveh. Again, it might be stupid to some of you or any of you or all of you. But I just thought it was neat. Yeah, we bless you.